Hi, I'm Melissa Clark from the dining section. Do you want to serve your Valentine something chocolatey, luscious, and creamy? Well, I do too, but I can't because my Valentine doesn't eat cream and maybe yours doesn't either. If so, I've got the perfect recipe for you. One ingredient chocolate mousse. No cream, no butter, just luscious. In this bowl, I have 265 grams of really good bittersweet chocolate and then one cup of water. This recipe was developed by Hervé Thys, who's a French molecular gastronomer. And he developed a technique where you melt bittersweet chocolate in water and then you whip it until it's frothy and mousse-like and tastes purely of chocolate. So you might have noticed that there was a white powdery substance on the chocolate. That's called bloom. It's harmless. It's just the crystallization of the sugars in the chocolate and it will disappear once you melt it. Normally you want to keep chocolate and water separate because if you add a few drops of water to melting chocolate, the chocolate will seize up. It'll turn solid. But because we're using so much water, we're able to melt the chocolate in the water and it will be perfectly smooth. You really don't want this to boil, just a slow, even melt. So you see how that's smooth and melted? That's what you're looking for. So now what I'm gonna do is put this immediately into a bowl that's sitting in a bowl of ice. So it's called an ice bath. And now all I'm gonna do is whisk the heck out of it. Whisking is what introduces the air into the chocolate mixture and that's what makes it light and fluffy. This is probably gonna take between three to five minutes, which doesn't sound long, but you will feel it in your bicep. I am already feeling it in my bicep. Ah, what we do for love. You could probably use an immersion blender that had a whisk attachment at the end, so you wouldn't have to actually do this by hand, but I don't have one of those. You see how nice and thick this has gotten? Gorgeous, this is what you're looking for. You know, when it looks like mousse. At this point, you could serve it right away, or you could make this in advance, store it in the fridge. It actually keeps for at least five days. You might have to re-whip it right before serving, but it's pretty stable. And now I'm gonna put my own little spin on this dish. I'm gonna add just a few grains of fleur de sel right on the top, because chocolate and salt is a match made in heaven. You know, like you and your Valentine. 